We are sitting in the heart of what is known as the Gold Coast of Long Island. It is known for its beautiful beaches, rolling hills, private schools, upscale shopping, country clubs. It's just a spectacular place and the beauty of it is that it's so close to Manhattan that for years now, captains of the financial industry and top business executives have made this place their home. The owner of this house actually is very much in love with all things French, French architecture in particular, and we're really sitting in the lap of luxury here in the Grand Ballroom, and this room in particular, I think, was inspired by the French rooms at the Met. The stairway in the foyer was inspired by the stairway at the Petit Trianon, which is part of Versailles. Most impressive to me is the fact that the owner actually is the creator of this entire estate. It was his, he conceived the idea, he selected every single piece of furniture here, every molding, every type of flooring, every fabric, every lamp, every lighting fixture. He chose himself and he was able to create this lush palette. Once we go through that front door, we're in another world. The home is approximately 22,000 square feet on three floors. We have eight bedrooms. We have 10 full baths and five powder rooms, so 15 total bathrooms. The furnishings in the house are EJ, Victor, and Karge for the most part, and they are fabriced with Stark and Spalamandre, as are all the draperies in the house. The chandeliers are about two and a half million dollars in total value. We have Baccarat, Sean Beck and Strauss, Cut Crystal chandeliers, Saint Louis, and there are some Ralph Lauren as well. All the fireplaces in the home are 19th century marble fireplaces from Chesney's or Asta in New York or Sotheby's. The actual foundation is poured concrete and the other floors are actually poured concrete, which is just not done today. Everything here is very authentic and real traditional materials. The roof is commercial grade timber. It's Hyde Park who did the Ralph Lauren building, actually did all the moldings and many of them were constructed on site because they were so large that they were not transportable. So everything here is really the most expensive, the highest quality available. He really spared no expense at any level and I think the consistency throughout the house from room to room, from level to level, is something that I've never seen in my 24 years of real estate experience. This is really a trophy house, and this is for somebody who has the kind of money that they don't need to think about it so much. They just want it because it's really an emotional buy. The items that are in this house are being sold with the property, and so somebody who doesn't want to have to seek it out procure all these items, which is a job in and of itself that could take years and has taken years. It takes a while for a unique home and in particular in this price range on Long Island to sell. There really hasn't been such a large sale for a long time and I've sold some high-end properties but this is in another category.